Thank you, Chris. That's because I hadn't unmuted. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let me start over. Hey everybody, this is Kim Danke, the Shibboleth new member, Fast Track Instructor, and I am so glad that you are here with me. If you are on Facebook, please take a second to say hello. If you're a member, hit that share button. Share it somewhere that you think it can benefit someone else, okay? And then if you are in the Zoom room, just like Melissa is, uh, thank you, Patty, for sharing. Set your chat to everyone and then say hello. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Michelle. I'm glad you're here. Awesome. We're going to have a great time tonight wrapping up this week. Um, who else do we have with us here in the Zoom room? Hey, Mama. My mama's over on Facebook. Y'all can give my mama some hearts on Facebook. And I got a new hairdo today. Y'all see my new hairdo? It's a little bit too dark for my liking, but thank you, Candice. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Phyllis. Hey, Phyllis. Phyllis is in my Bible study on Wednesday nights. That's awesome. Thank you, Angelia. Hey, Victoria on Facebook. Um, Deborah says, getting my act together. I like your hair. Thank you. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Yep, it's all brand new today. Let's see, Rhonda, I went from size eight to size two pants. <laughs> Yay! Awesome, Rhonda. That's awesome. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. Thank you. She charged me more to make it darker. I didn't ask for it darker. I asked for low lights and highlights, and I got charged more. And I said, um, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> But thank you. I appreciate the feedback. Thank you, Michelle. Hey, Catherine. Glad you're here. Okay, so for those of you who are brand new and just got started with Shibboleth, I want you to know that tomorrow night actually starts the seven night series. If you're here tonight, you're on lap seven, please stay with us because you can still learn things. But I want to make sure that um, I want to make sure that you know that tomorrow night is the lifestyle overview, like Shibboleth in a nutshell. What do you need to know to go like uh get started. And then Monday night is the simple food combining webinar. And then Tuesday through Saturday, we learn how to use the website to um, your benefit, because I want you to know how to use the website. All right. Um, so we're going to do that tonight. Tonight, we're going to wrap it up, though. And but I always encourage everybody who spent the whole week with me to then do Saturday, I mean, Sunday and Monday again, because you hear it, you see and you live it, and then you hear it again. And that's just a good way to really learn something. Let's see, Angelia, pray for my sister. She's got strep throat and feels horrible. I've got her daughter, so we're having a girl's night in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your sister is not feeling well. I'm so sorry. Strep is no fun at all. No fun at all. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started today. And we're going to go to fast track like we've been doing every other night. We're going to be in lap seven. For those of you who are brand new and you don't know where to go, just log into your account. And if you're brand new, it should pop up to fast track right away. But if for some reason it's not, or you're not a new member, thank you, Mama, for sharing. If you are not a new member, then you need to hit dashboard. And if you're not a new member, but you're recapping or refreshing or just haven't gotten started yet, it may show up to this instructors page. And you might see this. If you see this, just click on fast track right there. OK. All right. So we are doing lap seven tonight. And if you're spending this whole hour with me, you probably don't need to watch this little video. OK. But if you are, uh, I would want you to watch this little video on lap one and lap two because I don't do a full hour nightly webinar just on these tasks, okay? I do kind of lap one is meant to be Sunday, and I do the lifestyle overview that night. And then on lap two, this y'all do this on your own, but that's Monday night, really. I like for people to do it over the weekend, if possible. And then on lap two, do um, I do the simple food combining webinar. And then lap three through lap seven, we do together. So I think this will be important for you if you when you do lap one and lap two. But lap three through seven, if you're spending this full hour with me, you don't need to spend any time watching that little video there. You can if you want to, obviously. Okay, 
So I want us to, first of all, look for the different types of mentor appointments that are available. Now, before I get into this, any person that is not a member that happens to be watching with us tonight, I would love for you to be our guest tonight, but please know that the first class is always free. After that, on the honor system, we do ask that you get a membership. We have a going into the holidays special right now. It's $50 for a year. So you can get all of the resources that I show tonight. You get access to all of those and you get access to the teaching, everything for a year for $50. And that includes mentor appointments. And so I want to show you the different types of mentor appointments that you can get. And the website for you to sign up at that special is www.shibolifdeals.com. S-H-I-B-B-O. L-E-T-H deals.com. Hey, Jean, I'm glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. So I'm not sure if you heard me just saying just now, but tonight, and please stay tonight. This is wrapping up the, the week-long series and I'll start it over again tomorrow night. Um, so stay with us tonight and then try to do lap one and lap two of Fast Track over the weekend and then come back tomorrow night for the lifestyle overview. But hang out with us tonight too. Okay. So we're going to hover our little mouse over these action items. So this is a curriculum. A curriculum is just a methodical, organized way to learn something. So seven, we're calling it fast track. And so it's like going around a lap. So we just themed it. Okay. And the little action items in here, sometimes you might look and it looks like a long list. Some of the things that you do literally take seconds. Okay. And Rhonda says, I'm here every week. And Rhonda, I love it. We've got to do this long enough to where it's the new internal thing that we do just no matter what. So when you come to an action item, you hover your mouse over the task and the black box pops up. The black box is basically the instructions for why you're doing that task. So it says, we highly encourage you to look at all the types of appointments available with one of our five star reviewed mentors. If you have any lingering questions after completing Fast Track, schedule a general Q and A mentor appointment. So when I click here, this is gonna take me to a third party website. And we're so happy about this. Our mentors do an absolutely amazing job. So there's five stars right here. And we have 471 five-star reviews. This is almost unheard of in the world of reviews, okay? First of all, to have 400 reviews, 470 reviews is, is big time. And to have them all be five stars, y'all, this is huge. It just means that we are doing our very best to take care of our clients. But see, our mentors have been where you are and they have overcome and they want to see nothing more than you to do the same. So they're there to help you. So the types of mentor appointments that you have are a getting started mentor appointment. Now, if you've spent this full um, fast track week with me, or you've literally worked your way through fast track, you probably don't need a getting started mentor appointment. If you still had questions after doing that, schedule a general Q&A because you've already got started. Okay, so the general Q&A is anytime, absolutely anytime in your journey, whether it's during fast track, after fast track, or you just want to talk to somebody about what you're doing. General Q&A, just schedule that appointment. Now, there's a lot of places that I've shown us how to find and where to find meals this week. But if after you've worked your way through that, if you still don't know how to put meals together or find some things to eat, then you can schedule a meal plan help appointment. This journal review appointment is if you want someone to review your journal while you're on the phone with them, you would schedule this. We actually do have a different type of journal review where you just click submit for review and you tell them what you want them to look at. They'll look at it and type back to you their feedback. And that's just a type back and forth type thing. But this one is if you want to talk to them on the phone while they're looking at your journal. And then this one down here, it's one of the most important. If you have more than your allowed number of holidays in a calendar month, so let's, let's put it this way. 
we can, we can have up to six holidays in a calendar month. If you schedule the seventh day as a holiday, it's not a holiday anymore. We call it a blow it day and you need to call for a May day. So this is that type of appointment. And I tell you, I've had several of my friends scheduled May day appointments recently and they have really been thankful that they have. A lot of people, they are either embarrassed or don't want to schedule that May day appointment, but it's actually one of the most important uh, appointments that you can schedule because it means you realize what's going on and you want to nip it in the bud faster than you would previously have done. So that's that's there. Now, this is with our mentors, okay? If you would like to counsel with our founder, Travis, that costs extra money, okay? We, we can't do all that we do now with the money that we charge now, but Travis is a very generous man and he really wants this to be a ministry, but he can't give all of his time away for free. So if you want to schedule an appointment with Travis, you can schedule it there and it's $70 for 30 minutes with him or 125 with him. But otherwise you can schedule with our other appointment, our mentors for free. All right, so once you've just looked at that and you just know we do have access to appointments, you can simply click that box, okay? Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to sign up for text notifications from Jason and Travis. If you happen to have watched an earlier video in the lap one called Fast Track, there's an older video in there where I used a different text number and the, I guess, FCC or whoever, anyway, um, they changed some things in the text world and we had to choose a different number. So this is the number for you. I want you to, there's two text words that you can send and one is Travis and then one is my Jason. You can scoot my Jason all together. Don't let it autocorrect to a separate, two separate words, but you can text those to the number 888-831-1207. You do have to text them separately because it's two different lists. And I do want to give you a piece of advice about texting in general, okay? So this text number, 888-831-1207, is not just used by Shibboleth. It's used by other things. So let's say that, well, and I, I, I say that, and I'm not for sure that, but that's the way texting services work. They have different numbers that you, uh, different like uh, group names, like Travis is a group name. My Jason is a group name. If you get tired of somebody's texts, you're like, I'm sick of these people texting me. <laughs> All we do is try to keep people informed and entertained because we know that doing this thing requires a lot of attention. <laughs> so we try to keep your attention. But if you get tired of somebody's texts, if you hit stop, let's just say that you don't want Jason's text anymore, but you want Travis's still. If you hit stop, it stops all of them from that number, all of them. So let's say that you want to get rid of a particular one. If you will just email info at myshabolith.com, then we can take you off of that one particular list. But if you hit stop, it stops them from all of them. And then you might be thinking, why don't I get texts from so-and-so anymore? Well, it's because you hit stop. So if you want something specifically done, just info at myshabolith.com, make your request and we can take care of it for you. So you can click that box. Okay, take a sip of water and then we're going to get into something fun. All right, <clears throat> we've looked at a lot of places this week to find meals and food ideas. I'm going to recap some of them real quick, but then we're going to make a personalized meal plan. Okay, in lap one, in lap one, this is the one I said might look like a whole bunch of stuff, but this one registering for some classes takes two seconds. And these one, two, three, four, these four down here take like a total of 10 seconds. Okay, so you've knocked those out. This one is watching 14 little videos and that will take about an hour. Um, and then these things are your new member printables. They're just individual lists. So you'll want to print those things. All right, so... It might look like a long list, but once you get started on it, it's really not. Um, but in lap one, in the welcome packet and guidelines, we've got available grocery list 
this is a great place to start making your favorites lists if you haven't already done that. So what I would have on the top of a piece of paper is category one. And then I would go, do I like boar's head lunch meat? Um, and then do I like chicken breast? And do I like tuna in water? Do I like egg whites? And I would start writing those things down. You got to have your favorites lists to be, um, to know how to make meals. Category four, you know, you ask yourself those questions and so forth. Okay, so this is a great place to find meals. Um, the phase one combination chart is a great, this is where you learn to put your meals together. Okay, but really I wanted to go to this one. I really like this one. This is category two vegetables and breads and buns and tortillas um, all listed out right here. And what can you have with them? You can take something from this uh, square or block and put it with something from this block. You can take something from this block and put it with something from this block and so forth. Okay, and so that just gives you ideas for meals. There's your cooking oils and there's your condiments um, examples. All right, so that's a great place to find meal ideas. And really it's never ending meal ideas. Right here, you've got Travis's fast start meal ideas. There's nine pages of meal ideas, breakfast ideas. And then we come down here and lunch and dinner ideas are kind of done together. But hey, there's been things that I wanted to eat seconds of at dinner. And I said to myself, you can have this four to six hours later. Well, four to six hours later, I was going to be asleep. I ate it for breakfast this ne the next morning. I have eaten Travis's spaghetti for breakfast. And I've also eaten um, leftover pizza for breakfast. And that reminded me of college days. The sample grocery list is another great place just to kind of go, okay, what's in a category one? Which ones of these things do I like? So this is a great little list to pick from. And then the new member food library, this is a great place to find things you like. There's category ones, scroll through and look at them. And then if you go, what is this? If you click there, it takes you to the food library. You can read more about it, okay? So that's a great place. And then right here, this is a meal plan worksheet. If you will write down what you currently eat for breakfast, a couple of meals, a couple of meals of what you currently eat for lunch, a couple of meals for what you currently eat for dinner, all you've got to do is find the swaps for those things and what you need to swap around on your plate and make you a new plate that's representative of the old plate, but it'll help you not hurt you. So let's make some new meals. Then over in lap two, right here, it says simple food combining website link. This is that website that I used to make. I mean, I used on Monday night when I taught class. So when you come down here, you could just simply go, oh, I would like egg whites with spinach. I can have an egg white spinach omelet. Okay, I would eat fish with broccoli. I would eat fish with asparagus. I would eat fish with squash. Do you see how many meals you can make out of that? Then you go chicken breast. Okay, I would eat chicken breast with broccoli. I would eat chicken breast with uh, spinach. You know, you can see what I'm doing. So you can use this to make meals. Then over on lap three, it's the food library. That's a brilliant place to make meals. And this worksheet, you fill in your favorites and then you build some meals. And then in lap four, recipes recipe library you can use recipes lap five this is where you're going to find those my, the most important thing i think on lap five is really these meal replacements especially if you like quick and easy for things or need quick and easy you need to know which meal replacements will help you not hurt you um, and if you're not a meal replacement person at least look so that you're aware but um you don't have to eat them you can eat all whole food combined food meals and then there's freebies, extras, and snacks. So again, this whole thing is about what foods are those foods that we've always liked, but sometimes have gotten us into trouble. Um, but what's the void replacement for that? Lap six, we went over the advanced combination chart, but then we hit the restaurant guide, which one, it's one of the things that makes this whole lifestyle practical, sustainable, and fun. And then we went over wow challenges. Those are one day wild and wacky challenges for you to do. And basically it's one day meal plans. So we've done a lot 
that looks at different foods to eat. So I'm in hopes that you know what to eat. I really am. But if you're not, let's look at another way to tell. Yeah, Rhonda over on Facebook says, Mighty Muffins are amazing. Just saying. <laughs> they really, really are. In fact, today we went into the store. Mighty Muffins were sitting there. By the time I came back from something like uh, my online accountability meeting at noon, um, there was two, two Mighty Muffins left out of the whole thing. It was just crazy. Okay, let's make a personalized meal plan. This amazing tool will show you how many options. Well, wait, hold on, my papers. This amazing tool will help you see many options for a personalized meal plan. Click a start date, choose the type of meal ideas you would like to see, then click generate. Three breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and freebie ideas will be generated. For each item you are not interested in eating, uncheck the box. Once you have read through each item, scroll back to the top and click generate new. For the unchecked ideas, a new idea will be generated. Continue the process until you have a meal plan that you like. So we're gonna click here. Now, when you are no longer in fast track, you won't have to access this, these different things through Fast Track anymore. See right, see that my profile picture there and this blue menu of items underneath? It's right there in meal plans. So you just click meal plans right there, okay? But the start date, I'm just going to let today be the date. And then if I wanted to see only coach mode meals, which are simple meals, but I eat a lot of them because they're just simple and good. You can click that box, but I don't just, I usually don't do that in making a meal plan. If I want to eat coach mode meals, I just go into the food library. I click on coach mode meals, which is almost to the bottom of the list. And then I just look through that list and pick some foods. I don't need it to generate in, in a meal plan for me. I like to do one of these. Simple actually is going to bring up a lot of coach mode meals based on recipes would be that you want to see breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all the recipes. Simple might be, you know, yogurt with hemp flakes or yogurt with, um, you know, something else. I'm going to do mixed just because I want you to see the different types of things that come up. And look, see all those meal plans? Those are all the previous meal plans that I have. I can keep them digitally on this website, or I can go print them and put three hole punch them and put them in a binder for future use, maybe in my kitchen. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the generate button. Now I do this based on what I like. And so if you like something and I uncheck it, just know that you could keep it checked if you want it checked, all right? But I am going to do this based on what I like and you're gonna probably see all my little funny ways, but that's okay. What's awesome about this is that even if you tend to be a little bit more of a picky eater, then we can, we, there's nothing you have to eat on Planet Shibboleth. You don't have to, eat, excuse me, you don't have to eat on, eat anything that you don't like on Planet Shibboleth. There's plenty of options. Okay, so let's see. The very first thing is Choco Right in Green's First Shake. Two scoops of banana choco right and one scoop of greens first in water. You may add more or less water depending on your desired consistency. Well, I have no idea what greens first is. So what I would do, I do know what choco right is because we sell that in our little store and it's a protein shake. But greens first, it tells me it's a fruits and vegetables AM drink. Never seen it before. So I don't know what it is. So I clicked on there. Oh, looks like it probably would be a really good thing. It says alkalize now. Having an alkalinity, uh, more of an alkaline system in our body is wonderful. It's certified organic fruits and vegetables, 49 different superfoods, antioxidants, probiotics, and enzymes. Um, no wheat, dairy, soy protein, soy, isoflavones, preservatives, and all that. Okay. And there's even a little greens first recipe there. Okay, so now that I kind of know what that is, I'm going to leave that there because that sounds that sounds interesting to me now that I know what that is. So I'm going to leave that. Okay, number two, Spark, which is an AdvoCare product, um, 
hemp flake blueberry yogurt. Okay, you may have two tablespoons non-fat Greek plain yogurt, one packet of spark. And what you're doing is you're pouring the, the spark into the yogurt and mixing it up. Four teaspoons of hemp flakes and a third of a cup blueberries as a coach mode meal. Hemp flakes are available for purchase at our Shibola store. Now, and Advocare is also a available for purchase at our store as well. Um, but that's what Advocare looks like. And there is, there's a link to it to buy it right there if you want to. Um, oops, dang it. I think it just uh, took my meal plan away. Yep. Oh, well, because I clicked on a back button. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Let's see. There it is. There it is. Oops, I just learned something new. I'm gonna click update. Now I got my checks back. Yay, okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there because that does sound good. And look, it says one packet, mix together in a bowl and enjoy. That almost sounds like a really great parfait. Okay, strawberry cheesecake Danish. You know what? A lot of people have eaten many, many Danishes over their lifetime for breakfast, but how about eating the Danish that's going to help you not hurt you? Okay, so we need liquid egg whites, Splenda, vanilla extract, Fage, total 0% Greek yogurt, fat-free cream cheese, Sprite Zero, Carb Quick, baking mix, and strawberries. Well, that sounds really good to me. I'm going to leave that on there. All right, lunches. Healthy choice, simple steamers. Grilled chicken and broccoli Alfredo. You can have one package as a negative Three, weight loss meter coach mode meal. I rarely eat healthy choice uh, meals. I'm just going to uncheck that. Potato chip sandwich. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's read this. One of Travis's favorite meals growing up. This one is not a big fat burner. I love how they tell you that. But you can still have it and stay perfect when you make it the Shibboleth approved way. So Lewis Healthy Life breads. And then the number one rule for condiments. Okay, let's see two slices of bread, and then health-wise are prote chips, which by the way, we need to have a look at that because they quit making those. I'm gonna screenshot that and talk about that. Um, and then approved condiments. Anybody ever eaten a potato chip sandwich? He's telling you, you could still do it. I'm gonna uncheck that one just because I know that those chips aren't available anymore. Okay, vegetarian taco salad. Here you go, Phyllis vegetarian taco salad. So you've got an Olay extreme wellness, high fiber, lean tortilla wrap, lettuce, taco seasoning mix, approved fat-free sour cream, salsa, fat-free shredded cheese, Morningstar Farms veggie meal starters, the grillers crumbles. So basically you're just making the veg, you're making a taco salad. It's just that this product right here that's used as your meat is a vegetarian product. So we'll just go ahead and leave that in there. Sounds good. Now for dinner, Philly cheesesteak sliders, green bell pepper, boar's head London broil, ghee clarified butter, mushrooms, onions, Lewis Healthy Life 80 calorie sandwich buns, Sargento reduced fat provolone cheese slices, Kraft fat-free mayo and salt and pepper. Basically you're making a Philly cheesesteak thing like a little slider. I'm gonna uncheck that because I don't like green bell peppers. I probably could use others, but I will never make that. So I'm going to uncheck it. Okay, spinach mozzarella cheese sticks, carb quick, egg whites, Kraft fat-free shredded mozzarella cheese, Bob's Red Mill TVP, that's a textured vegetable protein, black pepper, garlic powder, salt, fat-free cream cheese, Delalo, Pomodoro, Fresco, fat-free marinara sauce. That must be a special marinara sauce that somebody likes, that whoever put this recipe in there. Zero drag and spinach. Okay, let's read about this. One cup of carb quick. Okay, in a medium bowl, combine the cream cheese, spinach, mozzarella, 
salt, pepper, and garlic powder, stirring until thoroughly mixed. Transfer the mixture to a square baking pan lined with parchment paper and spread the mixture evenly in the dish. Freeze for 30 minutes. Invert the frozen spinach dip into a cutting board and remove the parchment paper. Slice the block into one inch centimeter strips, then slice the strips into half inch sticks. Place the carb quick egg whites and TVP crumbs. I added a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and dried parsley to my TVP crumbs into three separate bowls. Dip the spinach dip sticks into the carb quick, then the egg whites, then the TVP crumbs, then back into the eggs, and finally back into the TVP crumbs. Set the breaded sticks aside on the plate. Heat MCT oil in a pot over medium high heat. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you right now, you may just want to stick with medium and be careful to watch that because MCT oil has a low smoke point. Okay, in fact, I'm going to question that too. All right. Fry the breaded sticks for about 30 seconds to a minute until golden brown. Serve with the approved marinara sauce. That sounds fun. Sounds like work. But so I might save it to a weekend when I want something special, but I'm going to, uh, but most recipes take a little bit of time. So I'm going to leave that there. Okay, Zaxby's grilled chicken breast filet with side salad. So it's a category one plus two plus C. So they're even saying that that meat at Zaxby's is a one. That's not bad because all meat at a restaurant, we consider a four to keep us safe. You can order a plain grilled chicken filet with a side salad. No croutons, bread, or crunchy things. Without cheese and with zero calorie dressing, it's a negative three weight loss meat or coach mode meal. If you are not doing coach mode meals, you may consider these options. With up to 50 calories of approved dressing, it's a negative two weight loss meter meal. And all this means if you're brand new and you're listening for the first time, I go over a lot of this stuff Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, because tonight's we're wrapping up. So I'm hoping that people know what I'm talking about by now if they've been with me all week. If you haven't been with me all week, just keep just keep listening and know it's good stuff. Okay. With cheese and zero calorie dressing is a four plus two meal. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, just keep reading that. Okay, snacks. Basic balance, Shibboleth approved. So I guess you plug in your blender, put in all the ingredients. The less powerful your blender, the smaller the pieces will need. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to uncheck that. Benitos. Oh, yeah. I'll be happy to eat some chips for a snack. Uh, Wasa crisp and light like Wasa crisp and light crackers with three with two tablespoons of fat free cream cheese. All right, we'll leave that. Seems easy. Freebies. Okay, so these butternut squash are freebies, but I just want to tell you, I use butternut squash fries as a category two with a meal. I wouldn't eat these. I don't eat freebies anyway, but I'm just going to mark that off. Popcorn okra, I would eat that as a category two meal as well. So I'm going to mark that off. I want to see simpler things there for freebies, in my opinion. Um, spinach chips, I'm going to take that out. Okay, so you've seen that I have unchecked some items. I just scroll all the way back to the top and I click generate new items. And it's going to pop in a new idea. Where I unchecked that. Okay, I have left all of those three breakfast things, so I don't need to look anything there. Okay, Boo Fit Vegan Pea Protein Bar. So if you are living a vegetarian or vegan lifestyle, well, vegan lifestyle, then you could get that. I probably would never buy that. So I'm just going to uncheck it here. But it, we got lots of options for you. Okay, there's vegan, life light, smart tenders, meatless, savory chicken with or without a category two vegetable. So let's see what this looks like because I don't know what this product looks like. Okay. Smart tenders, so they are meatless, meatless, savory chicken, and it's a category one lean protein. This would be a great option for um, a vegetarian. So we'll leave that in there. All right. For dinner, grilled chicken and salad greens. That sounds great. Easy. I'll let y'all read that later if you want to. Um, Okay, we left those. We left that Zach's piece. Power Crunch Original Energy Protein Bar. Okay, yes, I'll take that as a snack. 
freebies, raw cucumbers. Are cucumbers sprinkled with Bragg's apple cider vinegar and salt and pepper? Yes, I'll keep that as a snack. And I'm unchecking the squash and the steamed broccoli as a, as a freebie, I mean. I'm going back to the top, hit generate new items. And do you see how this is just fun to do? Um, okay, burrito bowl with steak. I don't eat that. So I'm gonna uncheck that. I could have told you what it was. As soon as it hit fajita, the word fajita, I know I don't eat it. I don't do anything fajita. I don't like it. Okay, scroll down. It's wanting to give me these two things again that I don't like. I don't want to make spinach chips for freebies and I don't want to use Miracle Rice or noodles. I don't want to use them on their own. I would eat them as a part of a meal, but I don't want to just eat them as a freebie. So I'm hitting generate new items. And whether or not you actually use this as a full meal plan for the week, just coming in here and looking gives you different meal ideas. Okay, Captain D's wild, wild Alaskan salmon salad. Okay, sounds good, we'll leave that. And then for dinner, you've got chicken and salad greens. Okay, I didn't check uncheck anything there. My snacks were all good. Okay, okay, this, this is more like my world of freebies. A dill pickle, which I don't eat dill pickles, but I'm gonna leave it because it's simple and a lot of people do. And sugar-free jello. Okay, just super simple things. This is a sweet, this will give you more savory, you know, so there's a couple of things in there to appease your taste buds. And so if I'm good to go with my meal plan now, I hit this green confirm button and my meal plan pops up and I can click the print button and I could print my meal plan. And then I could take this to the store and check those things off and pick them up at the grocery. Now, if I wanted to add these to my Shibboleth grocery list, watch that. I clicked there on this Choco Right. I could click it to my Shibboleth grocery list and I could go shopping at Shibboleth. If I wanted to find it on the Shibboleth store, I click there and it takes me to the store. I can click right here and choose my flavor and then click add to cart and it would add it to my shopping cart. Okay, so that's a fun way just to go ahead and create your lists there. Well, now that we have generated a meal plan, I'm gonna go ahead and check that box right there. All right, what is your next big step? Because we're about to wrap up this week, but we've got some more videos to watch and they are by Travis, our founder. And so I do want you to meet Travis, our founder, if you don't know him yet. But really, your next big step is to unlock, unlock the ability to purchase your 10% shirt, okay? This is what you're after now. You're after this badge and the ability to unlock and purchase that shirt. So there's three things that you need to do to unlock that shirt. You got to watch all of Travis's original daily doses, which are right here in this link. I'm going to click there and show you, then we'll go back. There's 26 little videos. It'll take about two hours and 40 minutes. It's not that long. Um, I did not watch this in one night. It took me about three nights. I was actually in a hotel room in Austin, Texas when I watched all of these videos. I came back from, it was a work trip I was on. I came back from the work trip on a Monday, went grocery shopping on a Tuesday and started Shibboleth on a Wednesday. So while everybody else was going out shooting pool and drinking beer at night, I was in my hotel room watching these doses, these daily doses changing my life. When you get down to the end, take this test. Once you pass that test, that part is done of earning your shirt. Then what you want to do is you want to journal for 30 consecutive days, all right? And your journaling happens right here. And then you want to lose 10% of your starting body weight. Now, how is the system going to know if you've lost 10% of your starting body weight? You need to put your weight in two places. Right here in lap two, it's going to ask you to put it in your profile. Put it there for sure. But on your very first day of journaling, put it there as well. And so that's what you do to earn your, your pink t-shirt will become unlocked in the apparel store. Once the, uh, oh, and there's a tip. 
I would highly suggest that you order a shirt smaller than you're currently wearing because you are still on your journey and will need a smaller shirt. We have a lot of people running around in pink t-shirts that are way too big for them. Um, once you have watched all of Travis's original daily doses, then you come right here and you check that box, okay? And then, let's see. So the, the, the webinar, the um, this is the badge that's gonna pop up in your system when you pass the test after watching Travis's videos. And then this is the one that's gonna pop up after you've journaled for 30 days and lost 10% of your starting body weight, okay? Any questions? Anybody have any questions for me? Anyone, anyone? Okay, um, please feel free to ask a question if you think of one. The next thing that we're gonna do is, I want you to see what we have to offer in our online store. The online store is there for convenience purposes. Can we teach you, oh, thank you, Michelle. Um, can we teach you how to do this 100% completely out of the grocery store? Yes. But there are things over living this lifestyle for 20 plus years that Travis has found that he likes that fill voids. Like if you were eating cereal before, what's the best cereal? If you were eating, you know, uh, cheese crackers before, what would be the best cheese cracker? If you were using, you know, it's so it's really just things that he has sourced from other places that make our life more enjoyable, but they aren't necessarily they aren't needed. We can do everything from the local grocery store. But do you always buy everything from the local grocery store? No. Sometimes you'll go to little fairs and festivals and different little specialty shops and find all kinds of things that people like. This, this is how you just want to think of that. This is just a little specialty store for convenience purposes where we've brought all kinds of weight loss products together in one place so that you can shop there. So I just want to show you that. Plus, I like to talk about the things that I eat on a regular basis and how I use them. So in our online store, you'll find a convenient and safe place to shop for products that will keep you on your goal of burning body fat and gaining a healthy mind, body, and soul. Earn store credit with every purchase. Look for the points in each star. As you earn points for online purchases, you'll get an email with a gift certificate number included that you can use towards your next purchase. Um, Mary, can we rewatch this taping? Oh yes, yes, Mary, let me show Mary where this is and this will be beneficial to everybody. In lap two, right here where it says, watch the daily fast track webinars, there are seven. I just kind of house the videos right there. So there they are. So yes, you can rewatch, no problem. Okay, so I'm going to click right here and show you the store. You're welcome. I'm glad you find it informative. That's awesome. Okay, so we sell out of the barbecue sauce quite regularly. There's several different flavors of this barbecue sauce. Now, this is obviously used as a condiment. Um, this is a Walden Farms product. Now, sometimes you can see Walden Farms products out in grocery stores. And when you see those, you may get real excited and go, oh, there's that Walden Farms product that Kim was talking about. Well, what I want you to be aware of is that Walden Farms doesn't just make calorie free products. Some of their products are fat free. Some of their products are um, sugar free. We only carry the calorie free ones, okay? So that's what makes our product different. So if you're using that out, if you buy Walden Farms out in the grocery stores or wherever, just make sure they're calorie free. Um, be aware of what you're purchasing. Okay, this right here, these are wonderful for a survival kit. This is ranch dressing packets. So these can be easily thrown in a purse, a lunch sack, or whatever, your survival kit. And these are packets that you can use um, at restaurants for your ranch dressing. Uh, I've never eaten this creamy chicken pasta, but we do sell a lot of it in the store. 
This is AHS chicken bouillon. I have this in my pantry. I use this as a freebie. This is actually a category two fibrous carb because there's quite a bit of fiber in it, but I tend to use it more like a freebie. Um, where When I find myself using this, it might be on a night where I've been out late, I come home, I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat anything. This will make me feel like I ate something because this really kind of is tastes like a little bit of egg drop soup to me. Um, and it's nice and warm. And I can see myself using this more in the winter as well. But this stuff's really good. And it comes in, I think there's seven or more packets in there. And or 10, 10 packets, I think it says. But anyway, I keep this in the pantry. We've got co calorie free coffee creamers. These sell like crazy too. This is the Carbonata Noodle. The Carbonata Noodle is a negative one on the weight loss meter, and it is actually a category one, two, and three. So when something is, a, is multiple categories, what you want to know about that product is that it's got enough lean protein in it, it's got enough fibrous carb in it, but it also has some energy carbs in it. So that energy carb part is going to lead you not to serve any category four meat with that. OK, you can still have meat with that, but it would need to come from your lean protein categories, either number one or number seven, your shellfish. Um, or you can eat it by itself because it is a proper ca category one, two, three combination. Uh, Shibola high protein wafers. Oh my goodness. These things are phenomenal. And I thought I would like the vanilla best. And I, it was, it's really, really good. And then I tried lemon and I thought, oh, this is my new favorite. Then I tried raspberry and it's now my new favorite. I just tried raspberry for the first time last week. Um, see, sometimes it takes a while to you know, try all the different products, but these things are delicious. And when it, you see a price like this, you're getting a whole box of them. It's not just one. <laughs> Alfredo, this is a calorie-free Alfredo sauce. You know, sometimes people will, the people either love Walden Farms or they're like, oh, that's gross, you know. But what my suggestion would be, if you are using this product and you find, oh, I don't really like it, Take one of those Alfredo packets that the seasoning packets, you know, kind of like taco seasoning, chili seasoning, find one that's Alfredo, dump it in there and it'll thicken and give it more flavor and it'll still be um, very, very low calorie. Let's see. Can you have a pickle with an approved sandwich? Yes, Rhonda. A sugar free or a dill pickle? Yes. Yes, you can. Because that's category two. Pickle is. Okay, I really like these boost drinks myself. I had one this morning. It was very good. I had mixed berry this morning. High protein, hot, uh, high protein pudding. We've got vanilla. We've got chocolate. This is a very interesting product. Um, this is one of the things I just took off that meal plan we generated. Um, but Miracle Rice is made with cognac noodles. And it's actually a fibrous carb. It's plant-based. Um, so this is really good. Yes, awesome, Rhonda. There's Miracle Rice and there's Miracle Noodles. And a lot of people will make um, it's like chicken and chick, uh, broccoli, chicken and rice. They'll make it with that. And I can see how that would work. Um, I just haven't had much luck with those things myself, but they do use them. Candice, what do you mix? What do you mix? the Walden Farms dressing packet with, it's already ready to go. It's ready to go. So you don't need to mix that with anything. It's just ranch flavored and ready to go. But I was just saying that if you didn't like this Walden Farms Alfredo, just to throw in some Alfredo packet with it. Also, when we get to the dressings, okay, see, this is a packet. It'd be kind of hard to mix something with an individualized packet, but we do have this uh, Walden Farms ranch dressing. We do have this ranch dressing in a bottle like this. And if you find, oh, you know, I'm not a fan of that ranch flavor, then I would throw in a Hidden Valley ranch packet in the ranch bottle. And I would give it more flavor and thicken it up a little bit. But these are packets. It'd be kind of hard to do that with a packet. I hope that answered your question, Candace. If it didn't, please um, ask me again. High protein soup. So high protein soup is fun to do with a grilled cheese. Just 
a bowl of soup and a grilled cheese. Guess what that looks like? Good old fashioned meal. But we're going to have a fat burning grilled cheese and a high protein soup. It's going to work to help us not hurt us. Mighty muffin. Okay. I ate, I know y'all have heard this this week. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome, Candace. I ate about 20 of these in my first 20 days. Why? Because in my first 20 days, my daily goal was to stay perfect. And this little thing right here, easy to cook, satisfying, tasted good. And so I just ate them. I didn't care how simple I had to eat in the first, you know, days of learning this. I just needed to get down the habits of drinking my water, writing down my foods, eating the right food combinations or using a proper product that was going to control that insulin, eating the right portions, giving myself break between meals. You know, that's what I needed to do. I needed to get those new habits in. So it didn't matter to me if I ate the same thing over and over. Double bites. I really like these double bites. These remind me of how I would use a corn chip, like Fritos, but these aren't really, they don't have the same taste. These are cheddary. So I use these like to scoop in a chili, an approved chili and that type of thing. Or you can eat these next to a approved sandwich. You can have one bag as a snack. You could even do two bags as a meal replacement. And I call it if you're feeling a little chippy. Have you ever felt a little chippy? You're just like, I just want to sit and eat some chips. Now just do the right chips. Call it a meal replacement. Used to, I would eat chips in addition to all my meals. Well, now I just go, nope not having that meal, I'm going to eat two bags of chips as my meal. That is so much more freeing to be able to eat two bags of chips as a meal than to feel like I had to eat meals and then I still wanted the chips. Now I can just eliminate the meal on some days and eat the chips. Works for me. There's the high protein pudding that's a vanilla flavor. Here's those hemp bars. These things are phenomenal, y'all. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, 12 inch bar, I cut it at four inches and at eight inches. And the little lid will just click back in. And I, it's a third uh, as a meal. It's a coach mode meal, actually. And then I will eat another third the next day and another third the next day. Well, then I might go to a Mighty Muffin for a day. Well, then I might go over to have this Shibola high protein brown bread with some eggs or something else. Um, so I eat a hemp bar about once a week, um, three days in a row, typically. There's the Miracle Noodles, just like the Miracle Rice. Now, this happens to be out of stock right now. You know, you know, sourcing things just has been difficult at times. But when this gets back in, y'all get your hands on some of this stuff. This is a category one and two. So that means it's a lean protein and a fibrous carb bread. It is chock full of seeds and all kinds of goodness. I had this actually for dinner tonight. I had two slices of this. When I say slices, it's little, it's half slice. So it's kind of like one slice of bread, but they've cut it. So they're, they're, they're more dense. I put one tablespoon of nuts and more per each side. And then I put a good, good jam on each side. And I ate that for dinner tonight. Here's AHS macaroni and cheese pasta. It's just like making those craft noodles, but it'll help you not hurt you. There's cheesesteak pasta. People really love that. The stretch a minute. It's just a tool that you can use to, if you have a hard time getting up and doing like movement and exercise, these are more static exercise where you couldn't believe how much your muscles get used when you're just trying to pull and hold something. It's absolutely amazing. And there's some different ways, the baton grip, the angle grip, the inline grip. And I've got a bunch of videos on the website, me showing how to use that. That's really cool. Um, Quest tortilla chips. These things are delicious. Um, I like this loaded taco. Loaded taco, we always laugh and say, how do they make that chip taste like lettuce? It tastes just like a loaded taco. So funny. Explore Cuisine Black Bean Pasta. This is excellent for um, vegetarians. So this is a black bean pasta. It's a category one and two pasta. It's a negative three on the weight loss meter. And don't let that dark color of the pasta turn you off. It's still good, okay? <laughs> but we're not used to that. Now, if you've got little kids, start serving them this kind of stuff early. They won't even know the difference to be able to turn their nose up at things. 
There's hemp powder. Hemp powder is great because hemp powder can be used to really improve the nutrition on certain meals. And there's quite a few smoothie recipes in the, in the recipe library using hemp powder. Please be very careful when making smoothies. Whenever somebody says, oh, I have a smoothie for breakfast, I get a little freaked out because I go, what's in your smoothie? And they will just say, it's like this source of pride that people can throw in 5,000 things into a smoothie and just top it off with some MCT oil or something. I'm like, that is not, that is not a healthy smoothie. So you want to be careful with smoothies. Um, But there's a whole bunch of recipes in the food library for smoothies if you want to find one that'll work. Ump, this UMP stands for Ultimate Muscle protein, but we call it us ultimate muscle protector. You want to protect your muscles while you're in weight loss mode and eating the right foods like we do will definitely help you protect them. But this is just another product that, that what's so great about this particular um, protein powder is that it has all of the essential and non-essential amino acids in it. And most don't have both groupings. Uh, cheddar curls, there's, they're a little salty. But if you like salty things, you can get those. Um, Choco Right, I really like these. So these are one of my favorite things. When you eat one little patty like that, you can call it an extra. But if you eat four patties, which would be two full packets from the box, that's a snack. Some people will have one patty after um, dinner for a dessert or something like that. You can break that up like that if you want to. Peanut Butter and Company, this is So in the world of peanut butter, there's kind of a hierarchy. And the thing that you want to use, if you can get your hands on it, which we do have it sometimes, better than peanut butter. It's got high protein, but they've removed some of the fat of it. So it has less calories. So that's why better than peanut butter is good. Nuts and more peanut butter has a lot of protein in it. And this is the third one. And then if you, that's when you would then go to like, There's some other good peanut butters, but you know, like your regular natural peanut butters at the store, they're just there. They work, they work, but there's better ones that you could choose if you're looking to have your, a better quality peanut butter. K's protein cereal. Y'all, this is actually a category six superfood and a cereal. This is a phase one cereal. So that means that you could really have it with any approved milk. And this is really good for folks who like almond milk or soy milk or something like that. A nut milk, you can have that with this cereal. My favorite flavor is the French vanilla flavor. You can buy it in the size of a cereal box or you can buy them in individual packets. I buy them in the individual packets when I'm going on a trip and I just want to have a uh, snack to eat on in the car. It makes me have a long snack. Um, This thing, we've got some of these right now. These are kind of like a dry cracker, um, but you can put peanut butter on it, cheese on it and all kinds of things. These little man square meals. Who remembers crackling oat bran? The cereal crackling oat bran. That stuff is not healthy, but it sounds like it would be, but it's got a lot of fat in it. This stuff right here, little man squares, is so good. I mean, absolutely delicious, but I call it holiday in a tub because it's pretty good. If you like um, lollipops, you can eat three of these. It's an extra in a day. There's some hemp protein flakes. Hemp protein flakes can improve the nutrition, like I said earlier, on the powder um, of a lot of meals. There's Carb Quick. If you were to go into the little store and you click in Recipe Starter Kit, you would get Carb Quick, Ghee Butter, and the Zero Drag 100% MCT oil. I would go ahead and get those in my house so I could have them in my pantry or my cabinet. And that way, when you're looking through the recipe library, you don't have to say, oh man, I don't have that product, you know, because carb quick, ghee butter, and MCT oil are often used in recipes. This is a fast track gift certificate. If you wanted to purchase a gift certificate for a friend to have just fast track, they would not have access to the full food library. They'd have a smaller food library, a smaller recipe library, and a smaller restaurant guide. But 10 bucks to let somebody have a look at what we have, they would still have access to the journal and some other tools um, is, is really great thing. Um, and then, ooh, grab the gold bars. These things are so good. I had this as a snack today, as a matter of fact. 
Um, this is a 100% natural bar. A 16-year-old designed this bar for this company. And it's kind of like that no-bake taste. You know, if you remember the chocolate and um, oatmeal type no-bake cookies that people's, people's moms would make, that kind of reminds me of that. Here's the Power Crunch wafer. Absolutely delicious. There's another flavor of uh, barbecue sauce. And there's some fun little snack. The protein puffs, I like all of those. And I could keep going, but I'm going to go ahead and stop right now. But I hope that y'all enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, Rhonda just said on Facebook, I regret not buying the starter food pack because I own all of them now. Yes. So it is just easier just to kind of go in there and get that recipe starter kit and just get it at your house and everything. Does anybody have any questions? Otherwise, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for spending this week with me. And if, if you happen to be watching this tonight and you're not a member, please go get a membership. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. I lost 50 pounds in about five months, and I have now been maintaining that for over two years. And I didn't even know I had 50 pounds to lose. I wanted to lose 35 and a half. I did that in three months. And then I kept living the lifestyle and I lost 15 more pounds. And so now I just maintain that. Let's see. Uh, Natalie, she says, which flavors are best of Mighty Muffins? Okay, well, first of all, everybody has their preferences. So you want to try, if you don't like one, don't assume that you won't like others, okay? So just kind of keep trying them. But my favorites right now are lemon cream. They taste like Fruity Pebbles. Um, the double chocolate blueberry. Those are my favorites right now. But we actually sell out of all the flavors, all of them. There's cinnamon roll, there's s'mores, there's banana chocolate chip. Um, there's all kinds of them. But I like lemon cream, double chocolate, and blueberry. But if you don't have a membership, it's 50 bucks right now as a kind of going into the holidays special, because I want you to know you can lose weight during the holidays and enjoy the holidays. See, we don't take holidays away from you. We teach you how to manage it all. That's what we do. We teach you how to manage it. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight. If you've joined me all week, please recap this week with Sunday and Monday. All right. And if you just found us on the tail end of this week, just know work on lap one and lap two because um, we will do the overview last night. OK, Rhonda says when in maintenance mode, can you still lose weight or do you just maintain it? I actually lost 15 more pounds, Rhonda. So what that means is, is that you do. OK, so in weight loss mode, you're doing right at least 80 percent of the time in a month. And in maintenance mode, you are really doing right 60% of the time in a month, if, if my math is right. Um, and you're still going to continue to either lose weight or settle out. Your body will eventually settle out where it wants to be, and, and you, won't, you won't really drop any more weight. Um, if, I, I guess I could if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to. So I just, I let it be. But I did in the, in the beginning, Rhonda, I did lose 15 more pounds in weight loss, but now I just kind of, it's settled out and it maintains there. But you know, when you're in maintenance, think about this though, you're always going to have a little ebb and flow of like five to seven pounds. Because when you eat and your body takes on saltiness and other things, that weighs something. And it's not that you gained fat, it's just that there's something in your body that's weighing something. And then once you get right back to living the lifestyle, it, that, that kind of comes off again. So there's always going to be an ebb and flow when you are in maintenance. Well, I have loved teaching y'all tonight. I hope y'all have a great evening, a wonderful Sunday tomorrow, and I will look forward to being back here tomorrow night at 730. Bye, everybody.